There are a series of things I would have liked to have known earlier with Playground AI. Um, the first is image to image quality reduction with each new generation of image. So what I mean by that is this is my starting image. I put, I click and drag this first generation image right here into this image to image box and then I increased the likeness to 100%. I produced one image and it came up with this image here, the second generation. I then went ahead and I downloaded this and I saved it as second generation. I then pulled this second generation into image to image, produced another image with 100% likeness and it came up with this image here. I saved this third generation image and I then dragged it once more to produce a fourth generation image. Now you'll notice that between the first generation and the fourth generation, there's a severe lack or, or decrease in the overall quality of the image. Um, the, the saturation, the, the color schemes back here are all thrown off, uh, but obviously the, the biggest difference is in the, uh, the face uh, and, and my neck as well. So I try now to do as many changes to an image all at once versus uh, maybe like adding a bird in here, saving the image and then adding an alien back here and then saving the image, then facial restoration and four times upscaling. Uh, it, it just causes a cascading decrease or uh, reduction in that quality. So that does lead me to my next point, and that is when to use um, facial restoration or four times image scaling. So I've got three variants over here. This is a one-time image of that earlier photo. So it's not upscaled, there's no facial restoration complete. If I were to upscale it by four, it produces this image here. It does look better than this initial. If I do a facial restoration on this base version, I get this image here. It looks a little too facially blurred for my liking, but I, I know some people are fond of that. But let's say then I want to um, go from here and do a four times image restoration the quality of the image does improve and it does tweak the face a little bit each time. So you want to be careful with how how much you do um, the facial restorations or the upscaling. As I mentioned earlier, uh, background quality will decrease, uh, even parts of, of your face and the, the neck especially um, will, will get worse and worse over time. Um, but if I were to do a facial restoration and then upscale to four, this image looks nicer than this image, um, in my opinion. Uh, so I, I tend to, to favor doing that. But let's say we do a four time image and then we facially restore that. This in a side by side comparison, uh, some people may prefer this. I actually prefer this image. Um, the quality of the face seems to match the quality of the background a little bit better, uh, similar to why I didn't like this um, blurry face, but then sharp, nice background. It doesn't really seem to, to mesh well. Uh, but maybe I'm doing a, um, a wooly background where things are just naturally fuzzy, then perhaps this would be a more ideal aesthetic. If I were to then compare this image that was four times, then facially restored, to an image that was initially facially restored, to then four times enhanced. If we look at these side by side, they look pretty similar. You might notice a little bit difference in the eyelids here. Um, the shape is a, a bit different. Um, some of the stubble is a little bit different as well. Um, but where the big piece comes in is if we do a substantial zoom in and 
compare side by side. Uh, you'll notice you can see perhaps strands of hair much better here and then over here. You're already starting to get pretty pixelated, but moving to the eyes, this is a huge difference. The iris is far more clear in this image and a little dulled and pixelated here. Moving down to the lips, for example, uh, again, more smooth in the trim line and pixelated here. Uh, same for the nostrils. But if we were also to look at, here's a pretty significant color scheme changing, uh, the difference in the background. Uh, very pixelated here and more refined here. So I do favor doing a face res or restoration followed by four time uh, uh, enhancements versus the opposite four times then facial restoration. Uh, the facial restoration will just decrease the, the quality that you, you gained by doing that four times facial restoration or four times upscaling, sorry. So um, hopefully this gives a little more guidance onto uh, what you might use. Um, but do consider the original forms too. I personally think this version looks better just because the aesthetic of my face, um, the, the harshness and, and the dirt perhaps matches the scenery behind me a bit better. Um, so keep that in mind.